So we have a consigner that we're working with. He brought us a pile of stuff. You guys, we are going to dig into this. There are some really, really cool things that are going to be in our next online sale. And we wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. Hey, Roy, let's start with that box right there. So this guy dropped this stuff off. Um what a month ago or so something like that and he went through a little bit of it with us but i can't remember anything that he brought so we're going to be going through this stuff again we got some rings here that are probably costume but definitely cool and vintage like look at that it's like a secret compartment ring or there's probably a word for that like i think this one's the same there it is. I think there's a word for that, and I don't want to make it up, but mm -hmm. those are very cool. Yes, they are. And what do we have in this one? Those are um, earrings. I can't remember anything about those. They look like a gemstone. Mm-hmm. I wish I had an answer to that, but this is, oh, wait a minute, something's underneath. <laughs> oh, there are the earrings right there. Okay. So in our... Um, From the May Company, or at least this box is. In our online auctions, we uh, do it auction style where everything starts at a dollar. Look at that, Up, upside down. What does that say? can't read the brand name. I can't either. Let's see. With it being upside down, Waltham. That's who that is. And look at these. We have a bunch of crosses here. This one is broken, wow. but <laughs> there is a small, I think it's numbers. There's something marked right here, though, by my thumb. Okay, let's see. It's just numbers. I don't know what that means. It's, this has a marking, but it's not gold. Looks like numbers and letters. Hmm. And it's not like 14KT. <laughs> That's not what I see. Um. Yeah, so here's a couple more crosses. So that was all in this bag here. Interesting. So yeah. those will probably lot together as a lot. And. Oh, this looks like tie tacks and men's jewelry, I guess, if you want to call it. Yep. More cufflinks. Swank is a definitely a, a well-known name. And what's this? This is. Probably a tie clip. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that will probably all lot together. Next box, what are these? Earrings? I don't know. I don't either. It doesn't have like a little earring thing on them. It does not. Definitely vintage rhinestones. So this, some of this costume jewelry will probably like go together this is there is anything empty. in there nope this is oh. just a case okay we might put something in that case then some more those might be garnets or rubies i wonder if it says something underneath nope okay what's in the box this is A link bracelet. Don't know what it goes to, but there is that's in here as well. And some earrings and a little chain. We'll check everything for gold, but most of this stuff will probably get all lotted together in a big vintage costume jewelry lot. That is these are like some pins. Pins and it looks like um, cuff links, cuff links, yeah. post, uh, clip earrings. 
And these wow, are... Wow, a whole bag of pins. Vintage. Like, what is that? Grand Lodge of Kentucky? Mason. Okay, so that's a Mason pin. Um, Trans Financial Balloon Classic. <laughs> like balloon... Christ is Risen. So they're... Like balloon, like air balloon? <laughs> yes, air balloon. What's that um, one with the round things on it? This one? Or, or this one? Yeah. Transfinancial. That's Balloon Classic. So oh, that's okay. another one. That's okay. pretty. And these are some vintage buttons. Okay. So this is a little, uh, it looks like a little treasure Whoa, chest. Oh, look at all look those at all tie clips. Yes. Wow. You have a Mason tie clip for the Freemasons and several other different tie clips in here. Yeah, he definitely collected. Wow. What else is in here? Oh, this almost looks like that watch band that was in. This is, look at that. It's got Stretchy. a little elasticity to it. I wonder if that's a belt. Hmm. Were people that little? <laughs> It's not really the size of a belt, but... No, but it's for something. Yeah. What is this? Cleveland Indians. American League Charter Member Coin Series. Okay. okay. That's collectible because they're not the Cleveland Indians any longer. They're the Cleveland Guardians. Well, they... All right, we got buttons. We got myself buttons. With one. Go Ouch. for it. Bangles, Tigers. Ooh. The Tribe, which... They are no longer more bangles with and a license plate. Buckeye fever. Oh, that definitely looks vintage. I wonder if we can find a date on that. No date, but wow, that's definitely Ohio State right there. Brush at the school Super Bowl 16. Wow. 1982. Mm. So these vintage buttons, Baseball Hall of Fame. Who Bob Feller. Guy? Okay. He was an Indian. Mm -hmm. League Park Gateway, April. So this was uh, when they first opened the the what's now called uh, Progressive Field. Look at that. That's vintage. Yeah, you won't be seeing any more of that kind of stuff nowadays. Oh, look at this. This is... <laughs> I don't know if you can see that changing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool. St. Clair Cougars. Oh, we have Los Angeles Rams. The Rams are, is that with Los Angeles still? Yeah. Made in USA. I think that was. That was the first time they yeah. were the Rams. <laughs> Not this time. Super Joe Fan Club, number 34. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what is this? Um, a high school. Yep. And this is 1981 All Star Game in Cleveland for Major League Baseball. What is that? Um, Sandy Koufax. Now that's one of those. There you go. You wiggle it back and forth, and it's like holographic. That's <laughs> nice. cool. That is definitely nice. What else do we have? Anything? Any? Oh, another one of those. I wonder if that's a character. I don't recognize him. New York may be Big Apple, but Cleveland, it, Cleveland's a plum. <laughs> what else do we have in here? Look at that bag right here. All kinds of buttons. All kinds of other yeah. ones. So we won't go through them all, but. No, we will not. Oh, wow, though. Look at that. This is like little pens of football helmets. Yeah, and you can see there's several of them in here. Yep. Raiders, Kansas City, Atlanta Falcons. Yeah. Wow. Redskins. That's another one that's gone away. And last but not least, All American Turkey. You've got these old railroad lights. Yeah, one of the things that somebody told me about these are like where they're from. So this is proper property of Pennsylvania. Um, and that could be the railroad. Pennsylvania Railroad. I think it says, yeah, it yep. says railroad there. So depending on what railroad company this is for, especially if they're antique, they could be worth a lot of money. And these are glass, so that 
makes them more desirable because that old stuff when it's a glass and it's lasted this long you know it's definitely and we Ooh, have here whoa, some zippo this lighters is the zippo collection so this one's a little worn in use but you can see this was an ace of spades card oh, if you can barely that see is? that yeah oh i see it there yep we can see it this is for ford motor company those are well that's a zippo that's a zippo um some vintage cigarette ashtrays yes <laughs> and we have camel so and then we have several of Ooh, look at the that newer pretty ones. one zippo look at that one yep and we got two of these but these are camel so those are zippo camels mm -hmm. so it's a double oh this is a camel too Oh, with the guitar? Mm -hmm. Nice. What do it's we have? It's double collectible. I can't read that, but I think it's Massimo. 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 And this here is Camel, and it's just engraved in there. Um, it doesn't say zip on it. It could be on the inside, but I'm not going to pull that out right now. This is the Indians all in. Just a Zippo. Same here, just Plain two different. Zippo. But this one here is actually pretty interesting. Look at that. That's definitely vintage the way they have it. The logo has changed. Not only that, but it actually says right there, 10 karat gold field. Oh, wow. Can yes. you guys see that? So that was a, another part of the this gentleman's Zippo collection. Oh, is this a lighter? Is this one of those? Yep, oh, that's look wow. at that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, this is not a Zippo, obviously. Here are a couple of these. Some of these older other lighters this is we've learned have been penguins made in Japan. is what that is. So yeah. What's in here? It says is this Zippo. Just the 10 or nope, it's in there. Zippo 65th anniversary. Cool. Which makes me wonder. Not used. Wow. It's here. So oh, these are the black and whites. These okay. are the vintage and antique photos. I forget what these are. Tin types, I believe. We'll have to take them out and double check. Yeah. Definitely have to do that. This is the one where it's got the. You see the. Can you see that? No. So what am I what are we seeing like if you catch it at the right angle you can see this is like on a like a tin paper or something I think that's the tin type oh it's hard to see at the camera there's a lot of reflection and stuff but yeah we're gonna have to look at these more this one closely. is not the same so that one's actually when you look at it, it at a certain light it kind of disappears and what are these these are some glasses what what is that from Czechoslovakia yes cut crystal wow is there I don't see a marking on this but wow and it's probably a set of see. those One, in there two three four it's six of them in here. All right, what's in the next, next we one? we have, ooh. ooh, Hot Wheels. Look at that. Wow, 1983. No red lines, but I mean, this is still in the package with the belt buckle. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow. And we got more Hot Wheels and well, Matchbox. This is Matchbox. Um, what is that? This is Matchbox. You can see the heads um, missing, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Still a very nice vintage piece. Well, look at that right there. Wow, that's an old tin. Is that Marks maybe? <coughs> wow, that is. No marked? Not marked? Not marked. Okay. Actually, wait a minute. Yep, just says made in Western Germany. Okay along with this piece here look at that this is 1975 
Not a Hot Wheels though. Hot Wheel California Collision. What year is California Custom? California Custom. 1989. And then here's a matchbox with the box. Look at that. Hmm. This is 1976. Wow. wow. And we still have the box to go with it, too. That's And it looks like it's in pretty good shape, like it hasn't been played with. Right. Oh, here's the... <laughs> the little piece of cardboard. And a couple little, little mini... Mini racers. These are Mattel. Made in Hong Kong is that one. Both made in Hong Kong. So. We have this tote, and it's full of old brass. Lots of brass pieces. We're not going to bring them all out. You can see down there, there's a ton of brass. So, some of that old brass is coming back. People like it. So, we'll probably lot that up. But there are those um, old, like round um uh, what are we calling those what did he call those some kind of ammunition maybe civil war ammunition or something <laughs> do you remember i can't think of it off the top of my head okay i should know it but i, I can't think of it um what's that down there what look at that brand new in the box snap on Christmas glasses. Are they plastic? Yes. Okay. Oh, they're so mugs. These are actually mugs. Oh, they got like a pinup look on that to them. They're probably. Do you guys remember when those mugs were popular? Those that style of mug. I remember my grandparents having those, but like in the eighties, maybe. And it's six of them in here. Oh, look, right there. 87. 87. Nice. Snap on. Gotta love snap on. Wow. The dancing girl. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Look at those details. And the age on that. And the patina. Oh my gosh. And look at She's this. gorgeous. And then what is this? She also has. So it doesn't go together, but... No, it doesn't go together. Who is that? And this... Is it a thing? Is yes, it... it is the thing. It is the thing, okay. And you can see right here is from 1979. Nope, 19... Yep, 79 is the date on this. Wow. So this is... That's crazy how good of condition he's in. Exactly. I mean, like, not dirty or wow. still vibrant. Cool. Actually, I think this, that's 1975. Wow. It looks almost like a nine, but from this angle I see, it's actually 75. So he brought some silver plate, but look at this. Who remembers that game? Astrolite by Hasbro. In the box, basically brand new. Oh, wow. He thought that it may have never been played with. So, let's see. Well, this is the platform, and you stick the lights in here, and that's what all these are. And yeah. I mean, you would expect them to be a little beat up, a little broken, cracked. These actually are very good condition. Yeah. And then you can build all of these different shapes. And then the light projects up from the base into the plastic and it's different colors. And you can see green, uh, green, yeah. blue, yellow, and red. So, wow. Yep. Okay. I'm wondering what year do you think is on this, Lise? Um, 73. Nope. <laughs> uh, 67. It, it is 69. 69. All right, I was in the ballpark. From 1969. Cool. 
All right, what's in that box down there? This one here? Yeah. Beer steins is what it says right here. Okay. So let's see. Is it like storage units where it's accurate or inaccurate? I don't know. We didn't go through everything, but he, he was pretty uh, knowledgeable about what was in each box that he gave us. Okay. It looks like beer steins. I see one. Yep, there's one. Let's see. So he definitely, as you guys can see, he collected a little bit of everything. Um, beer steins, vintage toys, Zippos, jewelry, beer cans. <laughs> beer cans. Um, so it looks like there's some steins as well as cans in here. And these things sometimes can have some value, but we probably will do a little research and lot these together yep. in groups of a few at a time. I don't no. know how collectible those Milwaukee's best cans are. Well, they're not steel cans. Yeah. yeah. These are so, old. Those might just be better put in the recycling bin, but that's not for me to say. <coughs> Here's an old bottle. What's that? Prods? That's Ew. Jer? Nope. Polish? There, I don't see a date on it, but that's definitely... We have another box of Steins. What's that? Um, Budweiser Championship Clydesdale. Probably. Made in Japan. Japan. Oh, that's interesting. A lot of the Steins come from Germany. Budweiser. Okay. I'll tell you that, just looking at the bottom. And this one. Got a, another Stein here. This one oh, actually nice. was cracked though. Oh, okay. But it's, oh, nope. Doesn't say where it's from. What's the year on that newspaper? Doesn't mean it was wrapped, 98. Okay. Actually, the interesting thing is they've been in here for a while, obviously. Yeah. I mean, what is this? Oh, that's an interesting one. Oh, that's pretty cool. And that is uh, Avon. Wow, the Jaguar, endangered species. So quite a variety of different types. All right, this is uh, this is some Everlast boxing. I'm not sure if it's vintage, but it does have vintage dust on it. But these are definitely old school. This is definitely going to take you back, probably. At least 70s. Rocky? <laughs> are these Rocky? These are definitely times some... of Rocky. I see 30-14 and it says Wilson on this USA. Look, I, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but very, very faint. Very faint, yeah. Oh, but it's not faint on this one. Oh, there not we so go. much. Yeah. Yeah, now we can see it. So we got two pairs. It's probably like a size, maybe. Or it's a size length? or an ounce. It could be a ounce, length. Ounce, weight, yeah. Um, but I believe, <laughs> if I'm correct from our consigner, these were, I think his granddad's or his dad's, I think one of his family members was a Golden Gloves boxer. Oh. So, if I'm correct, that's where that came from. Where's the gold? <laughs> didn't see any Golden Gloves. <laughs> Alright, then we got, he brought this, like, old vintage rocking horse with the still has the label on it the wonder pony and then what's in this box well we start off with this is a beanie <laughs> but look at that i mean the stitching's still there this was somebody's baseball or um looks like it was probably a baseball cap Okay, so this is another sports box. So there's some old cleats. Wow. Yeah. Really old cleats. Metal. Could hurt somebody with those. <clears throat> what is this? We have, um, this is a map of Ohio in New Plymouth, 1966. These are some very old pictures. So we have some ephemera. Yeah, some ephemera. We have an envelope of... Let's see. Let's here. 
April 1945 newspaper clippings from what is what year is that from 1945 okay so what's that catalog <laughs> the optometric weekly optometric weekly 1945 okay <laughs> you don't have to put those back in there what is this Mm. Oh, notification day committee. Hmm. Andrew Taft is the picture on there. What else is in here? I could go through. Wow. But I'm There's noticing. A whole look. load of ephemera in here. Oh, yeah. Tons and Timber. tons of paper. Yeah, this is from 1929. The Student Senate of the College of Worcester. So that's a college here in uh, Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Well, what the hell? Yep. Worcester, Ohio. You're probably familiar with hearing about Wor Worcester. Really, they call it Worcester. You got memorial programs, um, I mean, all kinds of stuff. Just loaded with so, vintage and antique ephemera. You guys remember, so this will be, probably be lotted out in two or three lots just grouped together um and this is all available in our next online auction style sale